If you're on a Mac and you're like me, you probably will believe that Final Cut will outperform Premiere Pro 10 out of 10 times. All of our favorite YouTubers have demonstrated this time and time again, but is it still true? Let's find out. And if you're a Red user, or you plan on working with Red Code Raw, grab some popcorn. But first, a dark mode. Dark mode bit is a nod to some feedback that I got from a live stream I did about a week ago. So thank you. In this workflow episode, we're going to be talking about Final Cut versus Premiere Pro. In arguably one of the most important aspects of workflow, at least one of the most important parts of workflow for me. Speed. The faster I can edit and render or export if you're new to this sort of thing, the better and more efficient my workflow becomes because it allows me to move to another project that much faster. What we're doing in this channel is building a community of creative professionals at all different levels where we can share content, information, and experience so that we can all level up together. If you're into that sort of thing, be sure to subscribe and remember to enable notifications. The editing experience is important. Smooth playback makes for much faster edits. There are ways to get around the whole smooth playback thing, and they have been in place for quite some time at this point. Simply by adjusting your preview quality settings to one half or one quarter resolution, your whole editing experience, even if you're working with Red Code Raw 8K footage, improves on most modern Macs. I don't have a Windows computer. So check out Sarah Dici or Armando, aka Mondo Bytes channel, because they both have great content on this specific issue. I have been editing on the iMac Pro since it was released. So my whole overall editing experience has been great for the most part. The one area that has always been a bottleneck for me has been rendering. When I'm working with 8K Red Code Raw on my iMac Pro, and I start the rendering process, my iMac Pro becomes a paperweight. I can't use a computer because everything becomes laggy. So once the fans kick up, I simply have to wait it out before I can start working again. I've had renders take entire weekends. As in, I started rendering at about noon on a Friday afternoon and finished rendering on Monday after 1 p.m. And no, they weren't YouTube videos. It was an episodic show consisting of 12 episodes, 10 minutes long each. And what's interesting is that I could have all of those episodes edited within one or two days, but then I have to wait such a long time for them to render. And that has been my bottleneck that literally stops me from continuing to work. Fast forward to now, and I've upgraded to the new Mac Pro with the afterburner card. I totally thought that this was going to allow me to not just edit faster, but then also share or render or export depending on what you're used to. And here are the results. The original source clips are 8K 2 to 1 on the sensor crop, 24 frames per second, 5 to 1 red code raw compression ratio. For those of you who care, my actual 8K frame size is 8192 by 4096, which is different than 8K DCI. Because the afterburner card is optimized for ProRes, I transcoded the R3Ds to Apple ProRes 4x4 XQ. This is the closest I can get to transferring all that R3D rich 16-bit information into a ProRes format. So let's establish a baseline using Final Cut. I set up an 8K project in Final Cut that would make the actual frame size 7680 by 4320. I imported the clips and set up a 10 minute timeline. And because I was so sure that Final Cut was going to obliterate Premiere Pro, I decided to do a very simple render. Share, share, share. In Final Cut, it's called Share. I shared my 8K 10 minute project using the compressor settings for up to 4K YouTube preset. No color correction, no color grade, no FX, simply converting ProRes 4x4XQ to 4K MOV. Final Cut rendered that 10 minute project in 23 minutes and 7 seconds. Not bad. So for budgeting purposes, if my project is a 20 minute long project on the timeline, then I should budget about 45 minutes for Final Cut to render that out 
into a format that allows me to distribute or share. During the render, my CPU usage was at roughly 5%, and my GPU usage stayed at about 75%. And now, the moment of truth. Can Premiere Pro keep up? I took the exact same Apple ProRes 4x4 XQ clips, brought them into Premiere, set up a new timeline using that two to one ratio so that it would match the source. And then I exported that with no corrections, just taking that 8K footage to 4K using the YouTube 4K preset. And boom, mm. Premiere Pro rendered this project in seven minutes, two seconds. Of course, at this point, I'm completely doubting myself. So let's do that again. And this time, I'm going to add an adjustment layer and apply the IPP2 LUT. And boom, boom. Premiere rendered that project in six minutes and 30 seconds. How is this possible? During my render, I noticed a few things. My GPU was being used constantly above 90%. My CPU load was only 25%. I have 224 gigabytes of RAM installed on my Mac Pro. During the render, I had less than five gigabytes of RAM available to me and I wasn't running anything else in the background, which really means that the RAM is being utilized during that render process. But that jump from 23 minutes in Final Cut to seven minutes in Premiere Pro Something else has to be happening. Premiere Pro is using the Afterburner card, which also means that Premiere Pro is now optimized to take better and more advantage of the Mac Pro's hardware, much more optimized than Final Cut, because Final Cut does not use the Afterburner card when rendering. At least that's what it appears like to me. What about Resolve? So I created a project in Resolve, brought all the clips in, created an 8K timeline, and then I exported them using the H.264 4K preset. Resolve rendered that 8K to 4K project in six minutes and 49 seconds. And when I applied the IPP2 LUT to that entire sequence and exported using the same settings, Resolve exported that project in six minutes, 48 seconds. I am officially switching away from Final Cut Pro to Premiere Pro. If you enjoy this content, let me know. Take care. My mind is blown. You know you're a star, just look yourself in the eyes. Yeah, what a shot that you've got. Don't leave this moment behind. I am just a fan of all your power and might. I know you can, you're the man, you're the type.